If you want to know the best Oscar-winning movies, you should definitely watch our ranking for the best picture winners of the 1960s. In the meanwhile, you just killed yourself a white man, just about the most important white man we got around here, and picked yourself up a couple of hundred dollars. I earned that money, ten hours a day, seven days a week. Colored can't earn that kind of money, boy. Hell, that's more than I make in a month. Now, where did you earn it? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Tom Jones, 1963. Yes, you've awakened him with your foolish chatter. I feel awake for the first time, madam. Tom Jones is a 1963 adventure comedy film, directed by Tony Richardson and stars Albert Finney, Susanna York, Hugh Griffith, and Edith Evans. Tom Jones is a young man who is very popular among the ladies due to his good looks and charming nature. His cousin Bliffle, however, is a cold and hateful narcissist. When Tom falls in love with Sophie, the two are forbidden from seeing each other. Tom must now win Sophie's family over to marry to the love of his life. My lord, I beg you to stop. Let go of my hand. I will never see you again. Madam, we must make the best use of this moment. What do you mean? Number 9. Oliver, 1968. Yes, young man. And do I have the honor of your acquaintance? Oliver is a 1968 musical drama film directed by Carol Reed and stars Ron Moody, Oliver Reed, Harry Sicombe, and Shani Wallace. Based on the classic novel Oliver Twist, the movie follows a young orphan who is sold to a mortician and thrown in a dungeon. After discovering a secret window, Oliver escapes from the dungeon and spends a week alone on the streets. After befriending a group of mischievous boys, he learns the art of pickpocketing from their mentor, Fagin. Well, we must see what we can do. To help you, mustn't we? Oh, thank you, sir. These sausages are moldy! Shut up and drink your gin! Number 8. West Side Story, 1961. You've got the guts to risk that. Best man from each gang to slug it up. West Side Story is a 1961 musical romantic drama film directed by Robert Weiss and stars Natalie Wood, Richard Bamer, Russ Tamblin, Rita Moreno, and George Chakiris. Based on Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, West Side Story follows the White Jets and the Latino Sharks, two New York City gangs who despise each other and fight to gain control of the neighborhood. When Maria and Tony from the rival gangs fall in love, they must hide their secret from their gang families, who are planning an ultimate battle to decide the fate of the mobs. Pulling this little trigger. How many bullets are left, Chino? Enough for you? And you? Number 7. A Man for All Seasons, 1966. I think that when statesmen forsake their own private conscience for the sake of their public duties, they lead their country by a short route chaos. A Man for All Seasons is a 1966 biographical drama film directed by Fred Zinnemann and stars Paul Schofield, Wendy Hiller, Robert Shaw, Orson Welles, and Susanna York. Set in 16th century England, the movie follows the story of Sir Thomas More, who believes in the holiness of sacred morals and principles. When King Henry VIII announces his plan to divorce his wife and marry again, the Catholic clergyman is shocked and vows to fight against the king's decision to protect the sanctity of marriage. This country is planted thick with laws from coast to coast, man's laws, not God's. And if you cut them down and you're just the man to do it, do you really think you could stand upright in the winds that would blow then? Number 6. My Fair Lady, 1964. And what I say is, them has pinched it, done her in. My Fair Lady is a 1964 musical comedy drama film directed by George Cukor and stars Audrey Hepburn, Rex Harrison, Stanley Holloway, Gladys Cooper, and Wilfred Hyde White. Henry Higgins, a phonetics professor, meets his friend Colonel Hugh Pickering and brags that he can teach any girl how to speak properly. Eliza Doolittle is a poor but kind-hearted flower girl living in London. When Eliza comes to the professor to sell him flowers, the professor and his friend make a wager and Higgins takes on the challenge of improving her speech. What are you sniggering at? It's the new small talk. <laughs> you do it so awfully well. Well, if I was doing it proper, what was you sniggering at? Number 5. In the Heat of the Night, 1967. Could I talk to you about it in private? No, you can't talk to me about it in privacy because I got Cobert's wallet right here in my hand. We took it from Harvey Overs. You don't think he gave it to him, do you? 
In the Heat of the Night is a 1967 mystery drama film directed by Norman Jewison and stars Sidney Poitier and Rod Steiger. When a prominent businessman is murdered, Detective Virgil Tibbs is arrested for homicide. However, when the confusion is cleared and Virgil is freed, the local police officer asks for his help to solve the murder. Will Detective Virgil Tibbs succeed in catching the killer and putting him behind bars in a racially divided Mississippi town? Virgil, that's a funny name for a nigger boy that comes from Philadelphia. What do they call you up there? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs! Well, Mr. Wood, take Mr. Tibbs, take him down to the depot, and I mean boy like now! Number 4. The Sound of Music, 1965. Please, Captain, love them, love them I all. I don't care to hear anything further from you I about my children. I am not finished yet, Oh, Captain. yes, you are, Captain. The Sound of Music is a 1965 musical drama film directed by Robert Wise and stars Julie Andrews, Christopher Plummer, Richard Hayden, and Eleanor Parker. Maria, a clumsy but free-spirited orphan, is training to be a nun at the Nonberg Abbey. Because of her love for the mountains and singing, she often misses sermon, which the other nuns mistake as negligence. When the mother abbess sends Maria to the abbey to care for a retired officer and his seven children, Maria slowly realizes her true destiny. Do you mean to tell me that my children have been roaming about Salzburg dressed up in nothing but some old drapes? Mm -hmm. Number 3. Ben-Hur, 1959. May slaughter the people, but that is not the end. We will rise again. Uh, you live on dead dreams, you live on the myths of the past. Ben-Hur is a 1959 epic historical drama film directed by William Wyler and stars Charlton Heston, Jack Hawkins, Haya Hararit, Stephen Boyd, and Hugh Griffith. The story follows Judah Ben-Hur, a Jewish prince who is betrayed and sent into slavery by a Roman friend. But he swears to come back and take revenge. The movie won a record 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor in a Leading Role for Charlton Heston, and Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Hugh Griffith. Rome is an affront to God. Rome is strangling my people and my country, the whole earth. But not forever. If I tell you the day Rome falls, there will be a shout of freedom such as the world has never heard before. Number 2. The Apartment, 1960. You've got a Lulu. Huh? Yeah, better not get too close. I never catch colds. Really? The Apartment is a 1960 romantic comedy film directed by Billy Wilder and stars Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, Fred McMurray, and Jack Crucian. C.C. Baxter finds himself invisible among his colleagues at the life insurance company he works at. When he fails to distinguish himself after four years, he comes up with a clever plan of using his apartment as a rest house for executives to make himself popular. However, he soon finds himself caught up in a number of problems, one of which is falling in love. Something happens to men in elevators. Must be the change of altitude. The blood rushes to their head or something. Boy, I could tell you stories. That I'd love to hear them. <laughs> Maybe we could have lunch in the cafeteria sometime. Or, or some evening after work. 27. Oh. Number 1. Lawrence of Arabia, 1962. Never seen a man killed with a sword before. Why don't you take a picture? Wish I had. Lawrence of Arabia is a 1962 epic historical drama film directed by David Lean and stars Peter O'Toole, Alec Guinness, Anthony Quinn, and Jack Hawkins. Lawrence is a young and intelligent British lieutenant serving in World War I. Due to his extensive knowledge about the native Arab tribes, he is sent to Arabia. When he arrives in Arabia, he meets Prince Faisal and together they brainstorm strategies to take down the Turks. However, despite strict orders, Lawrence embarks on a journey through the brutal desert to attack a Turkish port. He's a bit old-fashioned. He thinks these things will steal his virtue. He thinks you're a kind of thief. Start if I take your picture. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.